In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign a Word document without printing. Now and then you have to sign a document which is in Word and normally we print the document, we sign it, then we scan it and send it back to from where we got it. But there is a simpler way to sign a Word document from within Word application itself. But before I start, if this is your first time, my name is Tahir and I make videos about educational technology tools and applications available to teachers and students. If you are interested in this topic, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel, normally every Tuesday and Friday. Now this is a Word document which I have created for this video and you can assume that this is a contract which you have to sign at the end. Now in order to sign a Microsoft Word document, you need this draw tab in your application. And if you don't see this tab, you can click on file options, then you click on customize ribbon and then you must check this draw because I have checked this. So therefore I have draw tab in my ribbon. This area is called ribbon. So once you have this draw tab, now you simply click on this draw and you will be presented by these icons. Now in order to sign, most often you only need black pencil. So you click on this little arrow to adjust the size of your nib or your pencil. So this is very thick. I want to use a little thin pencil. So I select this middle one and now you can sign using your mouse or you can use a tablet or a pen. Normally if you are using mouse, it is very hard to sign properly, but with a pen and a tablet attached to your computer via USB cable and you don't have to buy any expensive uh, tablet for that. You can buy a vacuum tablet, which I use and I have mentioned in many other uh, videos or a Huion tablet. These tablets are less than hundred dollars. You can purchase if you sign your documents very often. Otherwise you can practice with your mouse. Now I'm signing with my mouse and I can simply start signing. So whatever is my sign, something like that. And now I'm using my tablet to sign and you also need to practice with your pen as well. It is not that you will start signing perfectly. So here I have a little bit better control on my signature when using a tablet and a pen. So this is how you can easily sign Microsoft Word document inside Word application and Word application is now freely available on Microsoft Office website, which you can download, but you need a Hotmail account to log into your application. And now if you want to export this document in a PDF format, you can simply click on file, save as, and in this area, you select PDF and you can save this file as a PDF. So I just save this as a PDF and now let us open this PDF. So this is the PDF and if I scroll down, my signatures are there. So when you sign a document, it is a good practice to create a PDF and then also flatten the PDF. I have a separate video on how to flatten a PDF and why you should. You can watch that video on my channel. And if you have a PDF document, which you first want to convert to Word, then there is another video which will show you how to convert a PDF to a Word document. You can also convert a PDF to a Word document first and then sign it. You can also sign directly into a PDF file as well. And for that I have another video. So you have a lot of options to sign your document without printing. Now with today's technology, you don't have to print any document at all. You can sign in Word, you can sign in PDF. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.